A day after security forces took back a luxury hotel in Ouagadougou, which was seized by al-Qaeda fighters in a bloody attack, coroners began the task of moving the dozens of bodies from the building under heavy security. Frederick Dua was in his room when the assault started. He luckily managed to escape. At first, I personally thought it was leftover firecrackers from New Year's, so I stayed in bed. But when it started making other sounds, I was a little curious. I went to the window and noticed that the street was deserted. I spent quite some time with my colleague and we decided to meet up in the same room, room 426. I was with Mr. Koneisa and it's from there that we saw one of the terrorists setting fire to a motorcycle at the entrance of the restaurant Cappuccino. The motorcycle was located right in front of the restaurant. He shot at it twice and then the motorcycle caught fire. President Kabore said 23 people of 18 different nationalities were killed in the splendid hotel and the nearby Cappuccino restaurant, popular with Westerners and French soldiers based in Burkina Faso. Among the victims were French, Swiss and Canadian nationals. Until Friday's attack, the landlocked nation, an ally of Western governments against jihadist groups in the arid reaches of the southern Sahara, had largely been spared the extremist violence that has plagued its neighbors. Maria Galang, CCTV.